Morris. Well, last year at the after the championship game, or maybe it was early this year, your mom said to me, Dating never gets any credit, all right, <laughs> from the guys on TV. Well, that's changed, all right. Uh, compared to when you first started last year, all right, how much more comfortable are you in the net now? You look much more comfortable. I tried to. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, last year being my first year starting, uh, you know, I had some big shoes to fill with uh, Kyle Burnlore leaving. Um, you know, it was my first year starting, so it was kind of getting my feet wet. Um, so, you know, the, the, the season was kind of an up and down journey for me. I didn't really get consistent towards it until towards the end there. But, uh, you know, I think going into this year, I had a full season under my belt, full full set of playoff games under my belt. And, um, you know, I think I'm a lot more comfortable. Um, I have a little bit more of a voice on defense. Um, you know, with guys like Timmy Muller graduating, who kind of led the defense. So, um, yeah, I try, I try and be kind of a, a steady presence in goal and uh, try to be a little bit more consistent, more comfortable than I was last year. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. How great is it to have two crazy guys like Bryce Young and uh, Curtis Corley, you know, leading that defense in front of you? Oh, it's great. You know, Bryce and Curtis are both, you know, really big, strong guys with a lot of experience. Um, I hear you know, Curtis is much stronger. Is that true? Oh, uh, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't tell Bryce that. Yeah, but Bryce admitted the, it. The numbers don't lie. Right. The numbers don't lie. But, uh, yeah, I mean, having those guys is great. You know, uh, I've got Jack Walding as well, a guy from, from Dallas who I kind of grew up with a little bit. Um, you know, having those guys around me to protect me is – it's always great. You know, you always feel a little more comfortable when you have big guys like that in front of you. Well, they got a great game last Sunday. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, T, so you, you prepare for him and stop him. Is that key to that game, basically, you think? Yeah, I mean, T's such a big part of their offense. You know, Cornell does a lot of good things. You know, credit to them. But, uh, you know, we just thought, you know, T was such a big part. Um, we kind of took some, some pages out of other teams who, who had done kind of similar things. Kind of took pages out of their book um, and tried to apply them. But, um, you know, he, I thought Jack did a great job last week with him. Um, and, you know, hopefully, hopefully we, we kind of play our schemes and our, our execute right for uh, for Saturday against Duke. And now you got Guterding, another funny. Every team you play is this, has a superstar, <laughs> all right? You haven't faced Guterding mainly because Duke doesn't want to play us anymore. <laughs> That's a long story that you don't have to get into. But they're playing us on Saturday. He's something special, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, Justin Gutter, he's a great player, um, has a ton of experience, puts up a lot of points. Um, you know, he's so good at what he does. Um, you know, we're really going to take this week to prepare, um, you know, kind of execute the, the game plan that Coach, Coach Bernhardt lays out for us, and uh, we're just going to try and do our best on Saturday. Uh, you lose get Coach Conry to Michigan, and you get uh, Jesse. How great of an addition was Jesse? Oh, Coach Bernhardt's great, you know, having a guy who is, who is a hard shell guy who, who played here. Um, not too long ago, who, who was a great player, still is a great player playing the MLL on um, Team USA. Um, you know, it's great to have him. He puts in great schemes, um, comes in with a lot of experience, and I think he's a great guy for our guys to listen to um, and, and kind of learn lessons from since, you know, he is, he is such a great player. Um, but, you know, having him has been awesome this year. How about him on ground balls? Is he the best? Oh, he's he's crazy. I mean, you watch his MLL games or even when we, when we scrimmage against him against Team USA, he's – he, what he does on the field is crazy to me. It's, it's, he's really unreal. Well, Danny, it's coming to an end. Five years for you. Yeah. All right. Came from Texas. What, reflect on your career here in Maryland. Um, yeah, you know, my career's been kind of up and down. Um, probably wasn't my ideal career when I was, you know, coming out of high school. I'd probably imagined myself as more of a four-year guy. But, um, you know, I think I wouldn't trade a single second of my career here. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot of great lessons from from the guys that came before me, and Nico Motto and Kyle Burnmore. You know, uh, Kyle especially did a great job mentoring me, teaching me, you know, the different ways and how to prepare and how to play goalie. Um, but, you know, I, I've met so many great people here, played with so many great guys. Um, I've made brothers and family for life. Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't have asked for a better academic school or, or a better coaching staff. Um, you know, my whole experience here has been great. Nico told me that uh, when you were taking some heat last year, he was ready to jump, jump through the screen and bust <laughs> the announcers, right, like your mom would have. 
but uh, Nico's a tremendous asset. And what a great goalie. He's still playing great. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, I mean, he's doing great things for the Bayhawks. Um, you know, I, I try and watch how he plays and, and apply that kind of confidence and that, that style to what I do. Um, you know, he's a great goalie, and he's always had my back since he's graduated. You know, he'll always send me some, some inspirational texts. But he, he and Kyle are good friends of mine. And, um, you know, great goalies before me, and um, yeah, you know, I just have so much respect for those guys, and they've helped me out so much in my journey. As you will for the next guy who takes over for you. I'm oh, sure. absolutely. Hey, absolutely. Danny, thanks for your five great, you, well, your four great playing years, <laughs> your five years. We wish you the best of luck, especially this weekend. Thank you. Take care, everybody.